Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker. We are again on Fullcraft. This is now on my computer running instead of on a server. We're running at 1.4.6. If you saw my last video for Fullcraft, we did an upgrade, which is great. So what am I going to do for today? Well, I thought I would try to work with Chisel in Bits. I have never worked with this, and I have a very simple project I thought that I could do. Let me go show you what that is, though. And that has to be um, something that goes on over at the sky base. So let me uh, teleport over there and I'll show you. Just right at the sky base. Let's beam ourselves up. Here we go. And now we're here. Okay. So what I did in one of the live streams. Now, that was a little bit delayed. One of the things I tried to do in the live stream and it was just it was a terrible idea is this room here I wanted to be a holodeck yeah that looks completely 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 terrible so what I'm thinking about doing though is gonna be changing this out and I want to make all of the the blocks I think I'm gonna use a smoky quartz I think this will look better like if I take this block out here let's go take a look at this really quick take off these blocks here and put this in I think that'll look good. And then what I want to do is I want to put some yellow along there to make like a line. This will be where the holodeck type of grid would look. As you know, I'm kind of basing this on, I don't want to say Star Trek, but it's a Star Trek theme, a holodeck. Um, I thought I would do that. That'd be kind of cool. But I want to do that. I want to get some yellow, and I think chisel and bits is the way to go with this. So we're going to try to do that here in just a second. So I hope you like that idea. All right, before I get started, I want to say, uh, you know, if you're liking these videos, you're liking full craft, please subscribe to this channel, like this video down the bottom. That'd be great. I really do appreciate it. So I'm going to be taking out all of this wool, first of all. Let's vein mine the yellow. Okay. Now you can see I put some glowstone down with the carpet, and I'm not sure how we're going to light this, so we will we'll have to check that out in a bit. Let's get some more of this yellow out. There it goes. Get that one too. Okay, now the black. Let's get some of this black wool out. There's a nice pit. <laughs> That's not good. We'll have to get some more of that material and fill that in. But let's get this all this black out here. Because we're going to be replacing all of it with that smoky quartz. And then once we do that, we can then go in and put it in the try the chisel and bits. And I'll try to figure this out because I've never used it. I know it's probably pretty easy, but we'll have to see. Okay, so we have to get rid of all of this, really. This floor needs to be replaced with this block. I'm not sure about the glowstone or how I'm going to make it lit up. That's going to be a trick. Let's get some of this carpet up. That's yeah, pretty easy. Vein Miner makes this part easy. And you notice I have a magnet in my inventory, and what that's doing is making all the blocks come back to me, which is really, really nice. So I have this here, it's, the, it's this uh, smoky quartz, and we're just going to start to run it across. This room will be very dark until we get the yellow lines in. So that'll just have, you know, the way it's going to be. Okay. Keep on going here, we're going to get all this done. Like I said, I don't know how I'm going to do the lighting on the floor. That's going to be a trick. It's going to be very, uh, I don't know, something we're going to have to do something. Or maybe we can just put something on the top and use those uh, lights, which we all have been using. I don't know. We'll have to see. But we're, we'll get this done. Let me get this room finished, and then we'll try to figure this out. All righty. This room's looking nice and dark. Okay. Now what I want to do, like I said, I want to make the yellow on each square like that, and I'll make a yellowish grid. But we have to uh, get that started, and it's going to do chisel and bits. And I've never done this, so you have to forgive me. This will be a me learning how to do this. Okay. So I have all this stuff here. I'm going to get rid of some of this wool. Um, I'll keep the doors there because I might need those later. I probably won't need these blocks. Okay, we don't need that. So now, chisel and bits. And I believe one of the first things I'm going to need is a chisel from chisel and bits, which looks like this here. And it's just a stick and a diamond. Should be pretty easy. Okay. 
Now that's the first bit, and I know I need uh, bit bags. And I have one here. So, well, I don't know why I got a diamond and a stick in my inventory. It's a bug with that system. So now I believe what you do is, now this is my first time, please forgive me here, is you take a block down and then you can basically grab everything in it and it'll, how do you work with this? Is there a way, see it's got a block where you can place a bit. Oops, it took it out, didn't it? Did I just put a hole in the floor? Great. Okay, so it's on some sort of minus mode. Let's see, how do you figure this out? This is what I don't know. So I'm taking blocks out and I assume they're going into the chisel and bits bag there, which is true. But how do we get to the menu system here? Um, I don't know. So that's all I gotta figure out. There it is. Um, I think I do this to get the bits out. Draw a region. I think I have to go into it and you have to point to the area like that. And just just like that, the bit bag has a whole bunch of yellow wool on it. Okay. So now how do you place with the chisel or do you not? Do you use something else? Let's see. This is with uh, chisel and bits. Is there a tool that lets you place without it? Let's see. See, I, like I said, I'm just learning. Wow, there's lots of things here. I'm not sure these are all different blocks you can make with chisel and bits, which is very useful. There's some tools. I'm not sure. Okay, so let me uh, see. How do I place? Let's go back into this. I'm pressing the Alt button. Single bit, line, plane. single bit so I don't know how to add it to it so let's see can we do something with the bit bag is this okay, see a bunch of this stuff here I'm not sure let me go and figure this out I'll watch a video or two and then I'll know okay I think I figured this out what I did was I took the bits basically out of the bag and I'm going to just lay them down just as they are like an item. Now I'm trying to figure out the spot. See this is usually 16 uh, textures here, 16 squares. So I'm going to do a double wide one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 here and here. And that's where it has to go. Now I wonder if there's a way to do with a line tool. Let's see if we can do a line. So if we do a line from here, oh, that's just terrible. So I think now I gotta take the chisel and get rid of it. So the line thing didn't work too well. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, now see, you gotta be very careful because I just took those things out. Okay, so this is a very sensitive tool. Let me get rid of this and we'll get back to drawing. Got rid of that mess, now we're gonna try to draw this out. I'm just gonna do this manually. Basically, I want to have lines going all the way across like this. We have two rows. Now, I'm sorry for if there's a better way to do this with an easily with a line tool. I would think that you should be able to do it with a line tool, but um, as you saw just a couple seconds ago, I had some issues, so I'm not going to use that. Okay, so I want there's a line going across, and we're going to do the same thing here, going up this way and up the other way. So let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's right here and here. Just like this. Oh, now I gotta take that. I see I put an extra one there. So I'm assuming that you just do like this and you say, oh wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. So let's start doing this right here. Let's go and get this row done. Now, my next job that I'm gonna try to figure out is there's a way to make a pattern and so I can just copy this and run it where I want. But that's going to be going on all around this area and then all up the walls and things. And I think that will look okay.
but I have to figure out how to now get, make a pattern out of this. So let me go and let's go see. What I've done is I've created this positive pattern. It says right click to right, right click to chisel, place, or craft with bit bags. Mouse wheel to cycle rotation, use alt left to display menu. Left alt, okay. Left alt says different types of things. So I think we should have to just right click and we're just gonna do from the square right to the top. Or is it just this? Okay. That grabbed everything. And it looks like it has a pattern. Now, how do we apply it? Uh, let's go back and look what that says again. Let's see here. Let's hit this button see if I can do it. Nothing on right click. Hmm. Now what do we do here? Placement. Not sure what that one does. This is kind of driving me a little crazy. You don't know what I'm doing here. Let's go back to the menu. Additive. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to use this pattern to do the work. Replacing or imposing. Uh, I think I've got the pattern stored. I just need to figure out how to work with it. Okay, well, we're gonna try this again. Just got rid of that too. That's not good. Okay, we'll figure this out. I think maybe I figured this out. So I have my this positive chisel design. It's completely blank right now, and I believe I just right click on this, and it's got a pattern. And there we go. But now, how do you place it? It looks like it's placing it lower, and I want—is it going to go right there? See, that doesn't make any sense to me. What just happened? I want to put it on top. I'm not quite sure how I did. I mean, I got the pattern, obviously. But how did I raise it up a block? And I got to put another block in there. Let me go get do that really quick. Apparently, I just chiseled the whole thing here. And now I can't put a block here. So now I'm confused. This is a pattern. It should just be right. You know, I can't. Well, great. I can put it on the ceiling. But I can't seem to put it on. I don't know. Uh, this is something I got to figure out. Is it mouse wheel changing rotation? Is that what it does? It said. Let's see what it says for the uh, menu here. If I click on this, it says mouse wheel to cycle rotation. The mouse wheel is. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. It took out that block. I'm not happy about that. But I got a pattern. It's got the pattern. I just got to figure out how to place it. But this would look pretty cool if I just, you know, I can go like that. See, it took out the block too. Why would it do that? Okay, time to figure this stuff out again. Okay, one last time. Let's do this again. What I've got here is I got a blank pattern. I'm going to right click on what I've done with chisel and bits. Now it's got the pattern. Now what I did was I went over here to go to placement. Now you can see it's doing it. So if I go here and here, now I'm probably going to run out of the bits that I need. Let's just get some, some of this down here and see if this works. Now, all I'm doing is right clicking. Um, okay, now see this is all floor. So we have to do the same thing with the uh, up, up, upper part, the ceiling and the walls, upper part. And maybe I'll run out of bits here in a bit. Let's see. Bits in a bit. Haha, uh -huh, that's funny. But I can always get more wool. Now I'm thinking I might just leave. I'll, I'll put the lines over it, but I might leave the glowstone. It's not terrible. And it does help with lighting. But this looks a lot better for a grid than we had before. So, yeah. Now it won't let me place that there. So I'm assuming that that is because I'm out of material. So if I go here, I'll put this block down and then I'll grab the chisel and I'll say draw a region and the region will be from the bottom corner. I'm just holding the left mouse button. I'll go all the way over the side and click and there it goes. 
Now I'm going to go back to the pattern, and this now should work. Excellent. So the system works pretty well. I like chisel and bits. I'm starting to figure out how to use it. I don't know if about the glowstone, but we'll do that. That's okay. Next step, I want to do, I can't put anything up here. I wonder if there's a way to rotate this object. I don't know. So I'm going to do one for the wall. Let's do this really quick again, okay? So now that I have figured this out, let's go to back to the, the bits here. Now this should be really easy. We're going to do a draw region. We're going to go from right there up to barely see it. I don't know if you can see it there. But since the we'll go right to there and over. And there we go. Now I've got to figure out the other side of it here. Let's see here. Um, it's going to be tough. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Draw a region, go up two and over. To where? About there. So let's make sure I got the pixels right. Let's do this count again. There's one in the corner. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, I don't have it right. It should be right here. So I believe I just left click, it takes the pixels out. There we go. So really, we go over and up. And that should be it should be seven long and it's not, so I gotta do one more. Oops. There we go. It's very precision work, but it should look okay. Now let me do the other side really quick now that I have that pixel. And you should have seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a break. Okay, so that's good. So we're there, go down. And there we go. So now that that's done, I'm going to clear the pattern by taking it up to the crafting grid. Just like that. Okay, and then we're going to take it down here and we're going to do a pattern. Oh, it's interesting because it's got the whole block. Let's see if I do that. Let's take the block. That's, that's cool. Oh, that wasn't cool. Bad move there. Uh, we'll have to fix that pretty quick here. I'll go back to that. So put it right there. You got to be very specific. See, that's a corner. So I guess the corner ones I got to do differently. See, learning as we go. Let me go and fit this out and do all this, and then we'll be back. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. Nice, uh, looks like a holodeck. Nice little room. Have it going out into here. Now, in here, we're going to basically put the door, which I have here. Let's see here. There we go. Look, it's working. So we did this, just did uh, some uh, chisel and bits. My first experience with it. I'm not very good with it yet, but I'm starting to get the hang of it, which means I can do a lot more uh, better decorations later. This is really cool. Well, that's all I have time for for today. There, the doors open and close. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put everything away here real quick. I got some extra pieces and some things, but we'll just put that away for now. And then uh, we're gonna have to say uh, that's about it. So. Uh, I appreciate you showing up, and I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Also, I intend on doing a live stream tonight, which is this is Saturday, July 1st, around 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you're available and want to join us, uh, we'll probably do some full craft. So, hey, show on up. It's at uh, twitch.tv slash tinker77live. So again, I am Tinker77, also Tinker. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.